Hey there, fellow students, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Hellzone. Episode 24, Hellementary. All right, looks like overwhelmingly you said no. Should I keep looking for the farming bag? Because alternatively, I could do something entirely different if you guys want. Uh, I'll let you vote on that. So before I go out for the farming mag, there's like a lot of other things I want to do first. Uh, fixing up the ambulance would be chief amongst them. And then forging up for a healing potion as well. Because I do not feel safe going downtown without more healing on hand. Because that was terrible. No, clone happens to be a healing potion reagent. No, it's still too dark to really forge. I'll do it later. Why is the lights on down here? Oh, they're not on. They're just illuminated by the uh, floodlights. Wow. Those floodlights are like way more effective than I thought it would be. Did I watch the car tape? I sure did. Oh god. I'm sorry, Hood. Oh, my trunk went from like 90 something percent to to um super broken. I mean, it serves me right. I I was using it as a battering ram against those zombies, and I ought not to do that, because it did not fare very well. I did a lot of damage to that thing and got no extra zombie skilled. Not really. So now my trunk capacity is 87. Punishment for what I did. Um, I don't have another windshield. My windshield's busted. It just is how it is. So I'm going to try to go into this, like, fenced off, but also open area place in hopes to find something I can make a healing potion out of. And you guys think I should continue looking for the farming mag. Okay. So once I'm prepped and ready, I will do that. Oh, there's a revenant on my side of the fence. Okie dokie. Let's kill it. So I'm looking for like mushrooms, berries, uh, lemongrass, like anything that could be made into a potion. Oh, mushrooms. Mm, fantastic. Uh, poisonous mushrooms. I wonder if it matters. It's a really good question. If they're a reagent of a healing potion, I bet it doesn't matter. Famous last words, of course. Well, I don't need a worm. Uh, yeah, true. I am drinking like lipstick and paint and cologne. So what's a what what's a little poisonous mushroom? Also, it's funny that, like, there isn't an unhappiness of eating a poisonous mushroom. But if it's stale, oh yeah, that's a problem. K 
Could you stop giving me centipedes? Give me something I can cook with? Oh, great. Poisoned berries. <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude? Why do you only find poisonous food? Oh, here we go. Normal berries. Yeah, I get okay, cool. I, I found sticks. I don't care. Also, who the hell is in my front yard? Get out of here. You don't live here. Now, let me get rid of this pole. You guys want me to keep looking for the farming mag. So I'll, I'll cook up some potions and I'll head to the elementary school. You voted that I do not try downtown again. But that I shouldn't abandon my search for the farming mag. So on it. Farming mag or bust. <laughs> they don't live here? They don't... Yeah, they don't even live. True, they don't. They aren't even alive. I guess that exempts them from trespassing. Ooh, I can make eight? Alright, let's just make as many as I can. And hope that my ones that I'm making out of poison and mushrooms and berries don't kill me. Also, that noise is awful. What the hell? Stop it! That's horrible! Alright, I'm gonna fast forward through it, because this sounds terrible. I have 24 potions. Um... I probably don't need 24 on me. So, I will put some away. But that was fruitful. That was awesome. Okay, I said put some away, not literally every single one in the stack. Um, let's take five. That seems reasonable. Favorite. Ew, I emptied out an entire paint bucket. <laughs> um. Alright, I think I, I will put the fridge back. Maybe I'll put it over here. So it's slightly more out of the way. Glove box and additional potions? Not a bad call. I'm glad I was able to make so many. I mean, I had been collecting reagents for a long time now, so it paid off. So I have five for the glove box. And five on me. What flavor of paint was it? Uh, definitely high gloss Benjamin Moore. Yep. All right, nine in the morning. That's not too late of a start. So how do I get there? I take the highway until I hit this point, and then we drive up to the school. 
Lead-based paint? Yeah, it tastes extra sweet. Oops, hit the only thing that I could. So, weight's 83 and dropping. Um, vehicle's a little worse for wear. I could probably park at the, like, metal place and just do a lot of repairs. At some point, there's, like, diminishing returns on repairs, and I, I probably need to just grab parts from other cars. In fact... Well, the windshield looks okay, but the hood, the hood looks a little rough. Start grabbing or towing other cars? Well, that would be a totally different goal. So I'm not against that, just need to be voted on. But because I have a pretty busted uh, windshield, and I was passing a vehicle that seemed to have an okay windshield, I did grab it. I think I was a snitcher. Well, that's an annoying roadblock. That car looks in pretty good condition, though. So here's the burbs. The hell burbs. And I'm hoping the density, the zombie density, isn't so ridiculous here that I'll actually be able to get some progress done. It doesn't look so bad. It looks pretty manageable. It's not zero. Oh, good, I got that kill. It's not zero, but it's, uh, it's not like it was downtown, where it was like a bajillion zombies everywhere. So, this is... Oh, is this not the elementary school? Did I say hospital? Am I in the wrong place? No, South Louisville Elementary. It just had, it looked like it had a cross. All right, let's park. Oh, the last dosage of beta blockers. That's a shame. So we have an ogre, not too scary. Oh, unless I miss. Obviously a toad. Alright, health's only minor. Still fine. You love how I park? What, am I supposed to use, like, parking spots? There ain't another human in all of Louisville. I don't think anyone's gonna be offended that I'm not between the lines. I also have an ambulance, right? It's like, if there's a vehicle in existence that can just park wherever the hell it wants, ambulances and fire trucks. That's right, cops. The amount of cop cars I see parked for non-emergencies in, like, handicap parking, way too high. Alright, is that- is the farts over? And tanks? Well, yeah. I mean, tanks don't really... Yeah. I suppose if you have a tank, you can also park wherever you want, but... I don't see a lot of tanks in every, every day. Usage. Critical 699 was insane? Uh, no, it wasn't all that insane. It was- it was on the ground. You do so much more damage to zombies on the ground. Like, you can do thousands once they're on the ground. It's just part of the game design. 
part of default game mechanics. So it might look like crazy numbers, but it's actually pretty standard. Who's already pit? Oh, they're... that's a boomer. I'm going to try to lure the boomer to go through these windows so I can try to one-shot at it when it's on the ground. Okay, potion time. I was hoping to one-shot the boomer, but couldn't. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, good key. That'll help. Doesn't look like too many specials in here, which is good. There was a key to that taxi if I wanted it. Uh, nah. It looked beat up to hell. I don't know. Oh, salt, actually. I was going to say, I don't know why I'm checking this, because it's all going to be spoiled, but not salt. Plus, it's cafeteria food. I don't really want diarrhea. But I will check for... Spices. Hey, hey, it, it, uh, there we go. My goodness, this is a massive cafeteria. Do elementary schoolers in Kentucky, like... Eat, like, linebackers or something? Okay, there's a, uh, shocker there. Don't really want to wander in there. Yeah, this, I will say, um... This is a lot easier to deal with than the amount of enemies that I was facing, uh, downtown. Alright, forget that. You fall through the fence, or door, window, whatever it is, and then I kill you. Much better. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another potion. I want to basically stay above the threshold of like one burster blowing up on me would kill me. Oh. Hey, first aid room. Uh, what books do I have? Medical. So I don't have medical three. I don't think I'm ever going to get to have to read it, but I'll take it anyway. Antibiotics? Hell yeah. Beta blockers. Hell yeah. No, don't take it. I don't need it. Just favorite. Thank you. Get addicted to beta blockers? Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe. Maybe. But given the world that I live in, that might not be a bad thing. Why is it so dark in here? Okay, uh, books I don't have, so let's start filling this out. Um, I need to mark down that I just picked up, um, first aid three. I don't need any of these books or magazines. Oh, get addicted to the potions? Yeah, maybe. That'd be funny if that was, like, possible. I have all the one books. Trap 3 I have. Trap 4 I have. 
Uh, farming three. Have it. Fishing three I don't have. Everything else I already have. Got all that. Maybe what I can do is I can leave this up. I know it blocks a lot of the screen, but I can leave that up so you can like um, error check. So if I pass something that I need and don't pick up, you can be like, hey, idiot. Last rack. You passed it. Uh, I already have foraging three. Don't need any of those. Uh, technically, I don't have first aid five, but like the world that there is no, I'm never going to get there. <laughs> it's just, it's not going to happen. First aid two. So the only two book I don't have is Forge uh, at this point. So all ones I have, all twos but Forge, all threes but Electricity. So if it's a one, two, or three, it's easy to filter out. Oh, uh, and here's my Forge too. So I have all twos. So I can ignore all two books and all one books because they're already owned. Farming four I don't have though. Another how to use generators. Uh, uh, electricity three I don't have. So I have all threes. So now I'm just looking for fours. I'm looking for magazines, uh, fours and fives. So forge four. So of the fours, metalwork, cooking, fishing. And fishing five as well. One of these, I'm not, I, I just, I'm compelled to collect. I know I'll never read, but something compels me to grab it anyway. Oh, good. That'll work for. Cooking for. So there's only four books left I don't own. Farming five, fishing four, foraging five, and tailoring five. Oh, I already have a copy of that. And I just passed fish four. Don't, don't, didn't I already pick it up? Oh, fish. Fishing four. See, this is why I'm, you guys are useful. When I totally overlook a book I needed. Thank you. Hey, we got it. Farming magazine. That's what I came for. So I have the farming mag. Cooking five? No, no, cooking four was not one of it. Uh, okay. I have all but f the level five books. So I can quickly scan these racks, and if it doesn't have a volume 5 of something, I don't even need to care. I think we are out of searching. But the good news is... I found the important one that I was after, which was the farming magazine. So, cool. That's, uh, that's great. If I'm not mistaken, I've searched all these shelves. Uh, so it's time to make our way back home. So the only five books I don't have is Farming, Forge, and Tailor. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. And, um... Yeah, this neck of the woods, 
Might be called hell, but it was a lot less hellish than downtown. Downtown was uh, honestly a nightmare. Downtown was really, really, really bad. Mission accomplished. Wait, what was in there? Is this a... Oh, no, that was the cafeteria. There is, um... There are technically classrooms that I could go into for, for potential books. But they tend not to have a lot of books compared to the library. So it's, in my opinion, not worth it unless you're desperate, which I am not. The books I have missing are just not important. When it's like level five books, the chance of you getting all the way up to it, if it's not cooking and carpentry, is very low. All right, it is time to drive away like a bandit. Let's update. I took the books from the library. Yeah. Drive it like I stole it? I definitely stole this ambulance. <laughs> I don't even... I, I do have the keys, but... I actually stole this thing. I stole all my vehicles. You have to. You don't start with one. Oops. Yep, the trailer I already took. Whoa. Um, okay. Apparently I'm really bad at driving. Is the ceiling of the owners no, no longer alive? I mean... <sighs> how? Stop it! Technically, yeah. Like... You know... It could be... Inherited... Okay. It, the, the rightful owner could still... It could get passed down. You know, living will and all. After all that work, let's definitely check up on our farm. So the farming magazine, oh, and my, um, my, my cabbage is ready to go. The farming magazine teaches you how to cure mildew and flies. So if you weren't aware of why I was grabbing that stuff, it's so that I can Cure the plants when they're diseased. And I think before I do the harvest and all that, I'm just going to plow through these magazines so that they're red, so I don't collect copies. Was that all the reading material I brought? So let's double check. Let's double check what I have and what I say I have. So my chart says all carpentry and they're here. Chart says all cooking and they're here. And all electrical and they're here. Farming one through four. All first aid. Uh, no, I don't, where's my, oh, here's my first aid three. 
Okay, all first aid, all fishing, uh, one through four of farming, all mechanics, all metalwork, one through four of tailoring, and I have volume one on me, and then all of trapping. So my my chart is correct. I just confirmed it. Before I harvest, I want to check for diseases. So these are seed-bearing cabbages, meaning when I harvest them, the there's like fruit-bearing and then seed-bearing. You want to harvest at seed-bearing if you want more seeds. If you're desperate for food, I guess you could harvest early, but like, I wouldn't. I don't. Because farming's really easy to do. And once you start, you're usually not desperate for food. It'd be kind of weird if you were. All right, there's no disease crops. Good. Also, farming gives you so much experience, it's absurd. Like... Like, it's just so much. And I'm almost farming level 4. Alright, I gotta put these cabbages away, because I'm about to break my back. I'll keep five of them. I'll, I'll make a stew out of it once I finish putting the seeds back in. Cabbage stew. There we go. Uh, I guess the rest of the cabbage I'll put on the other side with all the poisonous mushrooms. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, that's poisonous. Yeah, I don't want to add that to my stew. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad idea. Uh, where's my trowel? It's over here, right? It's funny that you can, like, harm yourself by digging with your hands when you're digging furrows. I mean, I get it. Like, technically, it could be possible. I just can't imagine, like, digging with my hands to the point where, like, I bleed. I guess if there's someone, like, buried broken glass in your yard or something, like, I, maybe there's a situation where it could happen, but I struggle to see that, that ooh, it's a realistic um, danger. Especially given that all this dirt was, like, shoveled into bags. Alright. I do have to water the new plants, but... I don't want to burn my stew. Did I come back and right? Oh, yeah, perfect. Eat. Is my other bowl still got stuff in it? It does. Cool. So now I have a uh, very, very boring cabbage stew for another time. Good weight loss because it's filling, but like not fattening. And then the last thing I wanted to do was to water the newly sown crops. I, th I think I have a watering can somewhere, but I'm just going to use the cooking pot. Uh, water bottle go away. Why are you walking inside? That's going to be annoying.
with all this effort, like, manually watering, you know, with fair certainty, it's probably gonna rain, like, in the next day. Ooh, that was fun. I got to watch the, uh, potatoes grow a, uh, a phase. Water does this fine? I'll just top it up. I don't want like one plot to be significantly worse than the others. All right, we have got our first big harvest, and uh, and then resowed everything. Sweet. I'll just put the trowel here. I'll totally forget it's there. Future me is gonna... raise his own fists in anger. Where'd you put my trowel? But, you know, it's there. I switched the generator, because this generator is half fuel. I'll refuel it some other time. But it looks like we are all set. Well, the good news is... I did manage to get the farming mag. I haven't put it to good use yet because we haven't had any diseased crops. I dug all the diseased ones up that we had. But I did recover from all of my injuries and uh, I'm in a really good position to take on new adventures provided this series continues to win in the polls. Which is a good reminder that if you want more of it, you gotta vote for it because... Thursdays, I vote for, I play the game that was uh, most popular voted. And I think with that, this is where I'm going to leave off. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Hellzone, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 3rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow survivors. <laughs>